Hello there! This video will show a complete rundown of the fastest boats in Grand Theft Auto 5. This is a continuation of my series showing all the fastest vehicles in GTA 5 and if you haven't seen any of the other previous videos, check the description because they'll all be linked in there. I'll be doing the same thing as always by taking each vehicle multiple times around the same track and the best lap time that each vehicle achieves will determine its place on the leaderboard. For more information, check the description down below. So in 7th place we've got the Sun Trap which achieved a 1 minute 38 lap time. Now the track that I actually used for this I created myself and it's basically cutting coroners on the sea. So it's just exactly the same format as cutting coroners but on the sea. Um, and although the, the times aren't directly comparable with the, the, the cars and the, what we've seen in previous videos, uh, it, it's not too far off. So yeah, the seventh place for the Sun Trap, which was pretty poor, and in sixth place we have a surprise with the Squallow. Now I always thought the Squallow was a little bit quicker than this, but it just doesn't really have anything going for it. Obviously with a 1 minute 18, it's 20 seconds a lap quicker than the Sun Trap, so the Sun Trap really is far back at the, at the bottom, but the Squallow isn't that great either. In 5th place we have the Sea Shark, now the Sea Shark managed to get a 1 minute 18.5 which was only 2 tenths of a second quicker than the Squallow. The Sea Shark is very nimble obviously, it's better on tracks that are, have a lot of corners and it's quite tight, but in terms of outright top speed you know it's not going to be doing any good on, on normal races against boats. In 4th place we have the Tropic, now this was a bit of a surprise for me, I thought this would be further down, but it's actually got really good speed. It doesn't have exactly have the best uh, turning capabilities, but if you do get the turning right, it does have pretty decent speed in a straight line, and with a 1 minute 17.0, it is a solid 4th place there. Now, in 3rd place we get into the serious ones with the Pegasi Speeder. The Speeder in 3rd place managed to get a 1 minute 15.9, so we're looking at almost one sec well, more than 1 second quicker than the Tropic. That is quite a big difference, and we're getting into sort of this, the serious lap times for the boats. The Speeder is a little bit big, it's a little bit clunky, it's a little bit hard to get around corners, but in terms of top speed it's very good, and that's where it will, uh, it will shine. But yeah, ultimately it's not going to be uh, hitting the top two. Because in second place we have the Jet Max. Now the Jet Max managed to get a 1 minute 13.4 lap time, so 2.5 seconds quicker than the Speeder, and it's basically just a bigger and better Speeder. It's, it's a lot more nimble around the corners, it's uh, quicker in a straight line, it's just a better version of the Speeder really. Obviously the Jet Max is two seaters where the Speeder is four, and that's where the difference is, but it's a very, very quick uh, both this Jet Max, and I, I always thought that it was actually the quickest in the game. But I was severely mistaken with that assumption because it isn't. It's very, very good, but it just lacks that little bit of uh, little bit of turning capability, really, that the, the number one boat has. So in first place, the winner is the dinghy. The dinghy is the quickest boat in the game, especially for racing. It is lightning quick. With a one minute eleven point one, it's more than two seconds a lap quicker than the Jet Max. It is just lightning. It goes really, really quick in a straight line, and it has excellent turning capabilities as well. And it's so light, it will just glide over the waves. The dinghy is the one to have if you're in a boat race, uh, and you have free choice of whichever boat you want, you have to choose the dinghy. It is so quick, it's brilliant. It's, uh, it was a big surprise to me, because I'd just completely forgotten about it, to be honest. But obviously, I don't do, uh, don't do boat races very much, but I had completely forgotten about it. I always just assumed the Jet Max was the quickest, but it's not the case, the dinghy is just better in every single way. So yeah, there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, obviously as you can see the uh, the, the track is similar to Cutting Coroners, you might be able to make it out if, uh, if you've watched my other videos, but yeah, I hope you've been enlightened by the fact that the dinghy is actually the best one to have, and hopefully your boat races will be better for it. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed guys, uh, leave all your comments down below, did you really expect the dinghy to take the number one spot, and when the Jet Max was announced as number two, did you wonder what the hell number one was, because I certainly would have done. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I really appreciate your support, I hope this has been uh, enlightening for you, and we're not quite done yet. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.